Well, I stopped at Cash Creek and got gas. Gas in Vancouver was running about a dollar seventy per liter. Cash Creek, a little town, it was a dollar thirty-nine a liter. The smaller towns have cheaper prices for gas than the bigger ones. Go fig. I think it'd take more to get it hauled out here. Uh, $1.39 is the cheapest I've seen. I'm not complaining. Last time I paid $1.55, still under $1.70, like Vancouver. So I filled up twice now. Once for $1.50. Was it was actually $1.56 per liter, and this was $1.39 per liter. First time I spent $98. Here at 100 Mile House, they have the world's largest cross country skis. So they say. mile walker for the gold wagon trail. Coming into 150 mile house, unincorporated. I'm at a rest area here, walking down this boat ramp. And that is ice on the lake. Look at that. And the boat ramp ends right there, so the lake must be down a tad. And it's probably 60 degrees. I got my sleeves rolled up. Loving this. So this is the Jack of Clubs Lake. William Giles of Missouri was an early prospector known as the Jack of Clubs and the discoverer of the creek so named. Entering historic Barkerville. Arriving at Barkerville Historic Town on the right. Everything is pretty much closed. Keep that open till May 16th. But we're gonna go in and see what it's like as a ghost town, I guess. So it's basically a town set up to be as a tour trap. And it's a ghost town, except for the people working here.
snow removal. Hi. Nice day. Beautiful. Finally. <laughs> yes. <laughs> This is the town of Wells before you get to Barkerville. And it's a colorful little town. Look at that colorful building. And there's Jack's Club. Sunset Theater. Here's their city center, historical town. Job on that. Oops, I love the wood sidewalks. This is the Island Mountain Arts Building. The Island Arts, Island Mountain Arts Building was originally the Gardner Building. It was constructed in 1938 by Garvin Dezel and Sons for the Caribou Gold Quartz Mine Company. First, the offices for the townsite company and lawyer Hub King occupied the upper floor and the Royal Bank was on the main floor. This building was built as an office for the Caribou Gold Quartz Mine and has housed everything from mining offices to a bank, doctor's office, and hunting outfitter. Currently, one Canadian dollar is equal to about 70. 